guys, what's going on? It's Jason from Vape Brothers again, and today we are talking about the Mutation V5. Now, this Mutation V5 is very innovative, but it's taking two different things that have come out in the last, like, last year, and they put them together, which, yes, it's innovative, but... It's, you know, I, I like it. The point is, is that it may not be like, oh my god, this is mind-blowing and brand new, you have to get this. But it's not like you shouldn't get this. This is a product that you should get because it's a very good one because I always love the Mutation V, like, you know, the Mutation X's, everything by Indulgence. Indulgence is a wonderful company. I would seriously suggest getting them. But other than that, this is the Mutation V5. It's it's a 22 millimeter drip tip made of primarily made of 304 and 303 stainless steel. It's got a couple features that I'm going to show you up close in the personal. But let's just take a puff here to show you the performance. Now I sh probably should have said this before, but I have this on my IPv5. No surprises there, but it's at 35 watts with 0.8 ohms, so it's hitting at 5.29, and I got a 10 or a 9 wrap 24 gauge single coil in here. Now I will preface that I'm not really a single coil kind of person. I do like to do dual coils, but you can do it on this. It's very easy to do it. And I'm using so the cool thing about the Mutation V5 is that it comes with either <clears throat> it comes with the velocity style deck or it comes with a postless style deck. And I'm currently using the postless and I have a single coil on there and I'll show you guys how to do that. It's super simple. You guys can even do a double coil in this configuration. It's just going to be a little bit difficult if you wanted to do the way I have it but other than that let's go up close and personal and look at this mutation v5 okay guys so here is the up close and personal shot of this mutation v5 so there's some key things that are different between the mutation v5 and the mutation v4 um, it doesn't have bottom airflow anymore it does have top airflow with this little adjustment ring and then if you hold this all the way over there and grip it you can still change your coil airflow which is awesome and then you got this nice big Delrin drip tip but other than that let's just go ahead and pop this top off now I do have a single coil here so um, how you build a single coil on the post list deck you see this white hold on there's a white line right here as the insulation line so that's that's what differentiates between your positive and negative I don't know which one is on which side, but that's how you differentiate themselves. But if I move the wicking around, you will see that there is a couple of screw holes down there. Now those screw holes are so that you can put in, you know, your velocity style deck. So you can go like that. Hold on. You can go like that. Well, I can't really fit it in there, but you know, you get the drift. It comes with a set of tiny little screws, and you can screw down into those screw holes. So I'm going to put my cotton back down. Just like that. But um, yeah, it's super simple to build on this, even with the postless deck. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, how you build on the postless deck, it does have grub nuts, but you see these holes on the underside? Yeah, you just uh, go ahead and tighten those down with those grub nuts while your leads are in there. And then you clamp, you uh, pinch your leads. Um, I will say something uh, to indulgence. Um, what I would recommend, if somebody's going to make a revision of this mod, I would say that um, when you're using your velocity style deck, I think it would be a good idea to actually cut a couple holes in the barrel itself that line up with the holes um, you know when you put your coil down so you can line up your holes like that and then there's a four holes on the bottom and then you can take your grub nuts out and you can use them as airflow holes so that you can get a little bit more airflow not like this thing is lacking airflow it isn't lacking airflow it's just I thought that would be a good idea but that's just me but other than that you know it's a really good mod um, I'm not like I said in the, on the up, on the up top of the video. I'm not a huge fan of single coils 
because they just don't put out the amount of vapor that I like. I mean, if I built a different type of coil in here rather than a, just a simple round build, it'd probably be a little bit different. But other than that, uh, we'll just go back up to normal view and uh, finish this sucker up. All right, guys, we're back up from the up close and personal. So that's I'll, I showed you how to do a single coil. It's really easy. It's super simple to do. Um, you just got to make sure that you look for that insulation line because when you look for that insulation line, then you can differentiate your positive from your negative if you're using a postless style deck. Um, I also showed you how to use the um, <clears throat> with the velocity style deck. Super easy with those screws. But other than that, this is a very solid, rock solid device. I believe I got it for around twenty to thirty dollars. It's not too expensive, so you don't have to decide whether, oh, do I need to partition money out so I can buy this. No, you do not have to partition money out so that you can buy this. So if you guys want to pick them up, I believe they're at several different retailers, VapeMW, uh, Vapor DNA. Go there, pick one up. It's really good vape. Um, <clears throat> I would highly recommend it, but I'm going to take another puff here. And today I got, um, this is again from Vista Vapors, uh, I got peaches and cream. Uh, I can really, I can't really taste the peaches and cream like I can on this other tank that I have, which I'll be reviewing next week, but, um, it's still good. It's still a good vape. I'm still putting out a lot of clouds. The performance is actually pretty good. So other than that, um, I'm just going to wrap it up here. So uh, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing and watching me. I do like doing this for you guys because I'm not doing this so that I can get money. I'm doing this so that I can... <clears throat> I can give you guys the opportunities to see that whether this the product is good or bad before you buy it. If it's bad, then you know you obviously won't buy it. If I say it's good, then it's probably a good idea to buy it. Other than that, I'm not paid by any companies or anything, but um, yes, let's keep vaping. It makes the world go around.